All right, so I'm starting to cycle through all the options. Now I am noticing a bit, when I hold it up, well, that looks fine. But on some of them, I'm seeing a, like a ghosted image, like a ring on top of the ring. So I want to see if I can capture it. Hold down the minus button for three seconds to cycle through the different reticle options. So there we have a thicker dot in the middle of the donut. That's the one where I'm seeing, well closer up I'm not seeing it, but further away there's a bit, yeah, I'm seeing like a ghosted version in my left eye but not my right, I'm guessing it's my vision. I don't see it in the camera and I don't see it through my right eye, it's my left. You know what, let me stop right here and let me clean my glasses just in case it's some sort of my spray pretty clean okay so in that image I'm not seeing any issues if I hold it up yeah I'm seeing a smaller circle basically it's duplicating the reticle but if I get closer to the gun I still see it if I turn down the brightness, it's almost none. You can't see it at all. If I turn the brightness up, it's more evident. So how do you determine? I'm not seeing it in this phone. Problem is you can't zoom in on these. It just goes to a big blob. zoom all the way when we get lucky it'll clear up or something yeah I'm seeing like a ring on top of another ring almost like it's making a number eight that's weird could just be my fucked up eyes man all right you can still see the center but let's go ahead and hold that down again and go to the next reticle which to my eye looks like a a comet with two pieces to the camera to the camera it's likely just a regular dot, which is the insanity of astigmatism. You know, that's a, a comet to me on the camera. looks pretty clear. All right, let's carry on. When you have fucked up eyes, you have fucked up eyes. Uh, let me do it over here. I can't see shit. Hold that down three seconds. And that just, I don't know what that did to my eye. Oh, it's just a larger dot, which to me looks like a comma. But here it just looks like a larger dot. I'm so sick of having fucked up eyes, man. All right. Hold it down again. And now we have what to me looks like a number eight with two, one bright circle and then one slightly less bright circle above it, which is hard to make out on the phone because it's just blobbing all right well to me it looks like a number eight granted the main circle is, is brighter all right i guess we're gonna have to rock this one which is a circle with a dot dual reticle which you can't really zoom in and see because it does that which doesn't help illustrate my issue. Um, what happens after that one? Hold that three seconds. It makes the center dot in the circle twice as bright. It's kind of hard to tell. But you can see how it's shining more when I hold that up to my eyes. You know, it looks, the main circle is fine, but it's like a number eight where there's a slightly less bright circle halfway up the center of that circle essentially turning it into a number eight what I'm trying to ascertain is this my fucked up eyes only or could there be an issue with the emitter I don't know uh, so let's take the new cloth it came with and let's give the uh, let's give 
the glass of the optic itself a good wipe down just in case. Doesn't take much to cause a refraction. And inside as well. Okay. So we look at it. Still seeing a very clear number eight. And what the camera sees is just a circle. But here's what I want to do. If I look at my 509T, let's remove the mag, make sure we're clear. This is red. Let's turn that brightness up. Turn that down a bit. Yeah, I see the same. Okay, so it's my eyes, dude. There's no way around it. I mean, even this updated prescription it isn't doing a hell of a lot for me to see clearly when it comes to optics. Which is frustrating. Some guy goes, why can't you hit it? Zero your shit properly. Because, you know what? I don't see the way you see, bro. There's a lot of handicaps going on. I'm too old for the, to start this shit. I should have started 25 years ago. Now, the camera, that looks sweet as fuck. Now, is it unusable? No. When I hold it up... Present. I mean, there's a clear defined main circle. It's just above it is like a ghosted top of a number eight. And it's, it's defined enough where it's kind of distracting. And turning down the brightness doesn't really do much for that. You still see two circles. And if I do it without glasses, it's a fucking shit show. I wish I could get laser. I gotta look into that. Maybe I'm a candidate. I just want my eyes to work properly again like they did when I was 20. Woo! Yeah, that's... Let's go target focus, though. I'm looking right at the reticle. Just like the EOTech, that can be a pain in the ass. But I'm at target focus. Well, with my glasses off, I mean, it's... But, yeah, I'm seeing a defined number 8, basically. I mean, the main circle is brighter than the top circle. But it's definitely obvious. It's not like super light to the point where you can ignore it. But I don't want to send back an optic because my eyes are fucked. I just wish I could get a closer up shot of this. Without it turning into a blob. If I hold it out. Further away. <laughs> It's hard to get these uh, a decent image of these reticles. That's better, right? Let me go ahead and stand over here. It's getting awkward. Let me hold that down here. Okay. Well, you can see it's like a die of a hurricane kind of vibe. Let's go ahead and one, two, three. And that turned it into a smaller blob, which is essentially a single dot. I see a big dot on the bottom, small dot above it. You see. Well, you see a blob as well. This is tough. If you back it up, that's what. So let's do that again. Two, three, and now we have what appears to be a smaller circle. It's kind of cool though. It goes from a small circle with a tiny circle inside. Where'd you go? Hard for you to see that. not doing it justice no <laughs> it's a lost cause all right so basically I gotta decide yeah see I'm seeing a halo effect 
essentially I see the main reticle in red and then up and slightly to the right I'm seeing a ghosted image of that reticle um, trying to see I hold them side by side Yeah, they're both ghosted. I guess there's nothing I can do about that. It's definitely not my it's, it's my eyes. It's not the optic. The, you know, and our vision deteriorates. So what, what what might have been clear a year ago with glasses can very quickly go to splotchy weirdo stuff. The only optic so far that I've been able to effectively use with decent clarity, you know, not full, but in the 80 percentile, uh, are the LPVOs because you can dial those in a little better. These are, what you see is what you get. The way your eye sees it, the way it sees it, there's no... Yeah. Now which one's that? Is that the big one? Hold on. Two, three. So there we have the regular center dot. There's the center dot, but bigger slightly. Next one is just the circle. That's just a circle with nothing in it. Not that you can see the fucking thing. The blobby blob. All the guys with that shoot irons and will slap their asses off when they see shit like this. Alright, and that just made the circle twice as big. So I think we're going to go with that size circle. And then one more should put the little dot inside it. No? I mean, I see a comma, but... Alright, so I guess that's going to be our default reticle. Now, how, how well do I see that? Well, inside, under house lighting. Cool. I mean, I see a defined center, and I know where to aim. But it's a bit annoying when you have that slightly elevated ghosted image of the same ring. I just wish I didn't, I wish I could clear that up. Uh, maybe I have to go back again and see a different eye doctor. Maybe the last one didn't quite get it right. It was that strip mall asshole place, America's Best. Oh shit. Maybe they didn't get it as precise as it should be. Maybe I need to find an actual ophthalmologist that's not in a fucking strip mall, in a scam place that fucks you over and does horrible work. Maybe those numbers need to be tweaked some more. Maybe I need to try contacts or go get laser surgery if I'm capable. Like right now, everything's just a blur when my glasses are off. And that happens, you know. You might be 29, 32, laughing at people that can't see properly, but your, your days are coming. Unless you have really good genes and your dad's a fucking pilot and your mom's a pilot and you have 2010 till you're 70. It's rare. Everyone's vision deteriorates over time, especially when you hit your 40s. Mine started to plummet. In my 20s, it started to go bad. My 24, 25. Once I hit my 30s, it was getting a bit worse, but not terrible. Then I turned 40, and then it started to go down dramatically more. Now I'm going to be 50 in May. And it's getting... And it's not that you can't see, but it's just clarity goes out the window in the blur with the astigmatism. It feels like you've been, you know, been doing... But working on two doubles back to back where you're just exhausted when I first started getting my bad vision in my mid 20s it was driving home from Miami after working all day you know been up since 6am showing up at home at 8 o'clock 8.30 and all the traffic lights had this huge weird kind of glow about them and, and tail lights and I always thought it was just I was tired turned out that wasn't the case it's your eyes going so I don't know. There's nothing you can do about it. I'm not going to stop using optics because they don't look perfect. If I close my right eye and look at both of these simultaneously, 
They both have a bit of ghosting going on. I find the green a little more clear. Whereas the red has a bit more of like a hazy EOTech vibe. So you just gotta work through it. Aim for the center. <laughs> That's all you can do. Alright. I just realized as I walked into the living room, I was like, oh, you know what? Because I walked into the fridge and I was doing one of these, looking up. And I, I have to keep reminding myself that these are progressive lenses. They're not single vision. They're not bifocals. They're progressives. And how they set that up can determine where your clarity is depending on near and far. And as a test, I was looking at the fridge doing one of these things. And I just got reminded that my stance needs to change. Because essentially, my clarity of vision on this dot, if I'm leaning forward, I'm looking further up like this. And I'm looking, I'll say, where is the most clarity? If I move my head upwards and down, it's, and that's weird, but it changes the clarity of it. You're still seeing a ghosted image no matter what. Hard to do looking over there, but. Right about here, so I'm basically looking up at the upper portion through my glasses. Is the most clear. Now if I stand with my feet closer together, more upright, a lot more fuzzy. So I need a wider stance, a slight tilt forward, which I believe is proper anyway. Oh, fuck it. I'm screwed anyway. I can't see shit. I'll aim for the center dot and do my damn best. There goes Navy SEAL school. Could have been somebody famous. Oh well. Maybe next life.